Page 223, exercise 16.6. Introducing you to uh, another piece from Beethoven's Bagatelles. Different Bagatelles this time. This is, uh, I don't know what to tell you about this. So I'll just point out a few things here and, and then en encourage you to go get the whole thing. First and foremost on this is figure out where the melody is and make sure you bring it out. It looks to me like, because you got stems in the upper staff, you got stems going up and down like you, so you, obviously you got two voices going on. The top voice. The bottom voice. the two voices together. Then you got the bottom part, which is just a, an accompaniment. A 3-1 and then a 2-1. What you're doing here is you're spanning the octave for the Fs. And then you're using the other fingers to play the other notes as needed. But you're keeping your hand in this position. For the whole first line. And that first line, by the way, is repeated. Mm. Then in the second line, we get the same thing, but a slightly different melody. Measure eight chords. I want to hear the top note because that's the melody. And then that half note. And that nice, their fingering's good too. And then we have a little run here, like kind of like a cadenza type thing where you but I recommend you do it in time. Right? Don't don't add lib and start doing stuff. I mean, in, a, in a cadenza you can do all kinds of wonderful things, but I'm, this isn't an actual cadenza. It's just sort of like a cadenza. So do these in time. One, two. So now I'd put a little, just a little natural accent at the beginning of each of the beat. One, two. I'm exaggerating it for you, but the idea is if you'll feel that as you go through it. And then the measure 10. And then, you know, it takes you up here, up here. Most people, I think, would start that trill and that measure on the main note because you're coming off of the E. And they won't start a trill on the upper note if you're already playing the upper note. And I can't trill with a hoot, so hopefully you do better than I do. Uh, starting at measure 15, two voices here. Measure 17, 16th notes, one E and a two E and a. It's tied to measure 18 because the left hand has a note there that. left hand. Now, starting on measure 11, the left hand is going from a quarter notes to a detached piece here. It's a rest, rest, rest. So it's a different. So at the beginning it's like that. But on measure 11 it comes out like that. it goes on. Even at measure 15 when you get the two voices in the right hand you still got this detached going on in the left hand. Keep in mind all ornaments are optional. 
Beethoven may disagree with that because he was very particular about his stuff. But the point is this trill on measure 16, the first trill on the bottom voice here in the right hand, I would start it on the upper note and you got to hold this, this down while you're doing that. So figure out how many notes you can play comfortably and that do the trill in rhythm is what I'm saying. If you can only do four notes, play them at like 16th notes, close enough. Do the best you can, otherwise you leave the trills out. And that's really about all I have to say about this. They say with pedal, they don't tell you where. Uh, you can pair, pedal at legato. Of course, don't, don't pedal these runs. The 16th note let those be by themselves and don't pedal when the left hand starting on measure 11 where the left hand has this don't cover that up with the pedal it's rest rest if you're going to pedal that then pedal it with the left hand you go down up with the notes don't know why you'd want to but just don't cover up this there's no point in having an eighth note eighth rest if you're going to pedal it unless it's for technique part and it isn't so don't but otherwise you could pedal the legato part like at the very end the last line the last few measures where it comes back to legato you can legato pedal that just pedal it with the harmony it's a, it, may, it may be pedaling each beat individually but nevertheless, pellet with the harmony, you'll be fine.